Hello, welcome to today's show, which is a life story challenge. It's Thanksgiving games, Christmas games that you can play with family. The show today is brought to you thanks to the Your Family Story Systems, which helps you record a loved one's life story. So stay with me because I'll have more about getting your hands on this free gift at the end of the show. If you're brand new to Forever Young Autobiographies, it's the place where we learn to write life stories for family and friends so unique memories can live on for future generations. And I'd be really grateful if you could follow, subscribe and like the show. So today's show is actually part of the Ask Nicola series. It's where I get asked lots of questions as a life story coach, whether that's planning to write, writing, polishing and publishing life stories. And this series aims to help you as new writers because you get to hear my answers to these common questions and we all get to learn from them. So I have today's question here which was, can you please suggest some Thanksgiving games and Christmas games that involve family stories? So fantastic question and great that you're getting this idea of recording memories at family gatherings because they are perfect for doing this kind of thing. So that's one of the reasons I've come up with this life story challenge as we head into the holiday season. This might get you some ideas percolating for what to do at your next gathering. Now I'm going to just go over four key steps and there's some questions involved that I will put over at my website foreveryoungautobiographies.com slash thanksgiving games. So please head over there for more detail. But let's start this show. I'm going to summarize that full article for you now. And the first thing you need to do to get started is just to have a bit of a brainstorm about what you want to do with these games. What topic do you specifically want to do? So this challenge is going to be small, not going to take up your whole catch up or your family gathering, something small and achievable. And get started by some, thinking about things that you want to ask other family relatives you know and you can come up with these ideas yourself you can come up with your friends and relatives you can even ask your kids so that could be grandkids great grandkids kids because kids often have really cool quirky questions that you wouldn't normally think about so ask them for sure and you're going to maybe think too about phases of of life that that's really great things like What's uh, your earliest memory of, say, a holiday season? Or what's your earliest memory, full stop, from when you were a child? Or what's a memory from your school days? What's a happy memory? What's a memory that you're proud of or an event that you're proud of? Now head over to my website to that article I mentioned. The links are in the show notes. And I'll have quite a few more suggestions for you there. But please brainstorm with others who will be there or others that you might be able to give you some ideas. That's, that's key, get those memories and ideas percolating in step one. Now step two is pretty, that's the exciting bit. What game are we going to pick? What are we, what are we thinking? So I would suggest one of two ideas for games. Firstly is where you ask one question to many people at the gathering. And, and in journalism, we call this a box pop. So one question to everyone and see what the response is. The second idea is that you, you target one specific person who's going to this gathering and then you ask them a series of questions. Not like for hours and hours, we want this to be short. So maybe, you know, around that 20 minute, 30 minute mark if you're doing a one on one at a gathering. Like it's going to be a bit busy. There's going to be a lot going on. If you're choosing one person, let them know in advance that you're thinking of doing this and why to record family, family stories, family events, uh, and just give them a bit of a heads up. I think that's respectful and they then can prime their own memories. So that's a good thing to do to get the ball rolling. Now on the actual event, that's the next step, is okay, how are we going to record this? And I would suggest we all have smartphones in our pockets take your smartphone along. That is going to be the easiest way because they've got video recording on there and they've also usually got free recording audio apps. And that's going to be great. That's what you're going to use. So simply open that software, open that app, 
hit record and do your rounds, whether that's a box pop or you're sitting down with that one-on-one -on -one interviewee. Now make sure you've got full batteries, all of that. Make sure you're checking your phone that it's still recording as you're going along. You don't want to accidentally just record half of this game or this challenge. And I like to take around a notebook and pen. So I've got my phone in one hand and I've got the notebook in the other or underneath on top of my phone and I'm just making some notes. So if one fails, you've got the other. It's a really good backup. Now, teenagers are really handy with mobile phones and video. So if, if you like, you can rope them in to help you get them to video or to be on the notebook so that you can make it a double act. That makes it really, really easy and you're concentrating on getting quality answers. So at the end of the event, the next day, whenever you get a chance, what are you going to do with all of this content that you've, you've recorded at this event? So you could simply share it as is. That, that's completely fine. I mean, it's fantastic that you've actually done this. Congratulations, you've got this collection of memories. That can be treasured. So they are fine as, as it is on the phone. But I would suggest you could transcribe some key sections. So you could write it out on paper, or you could put it into your laptop or your phone because when you digitalize things like this, it makes it really easy to share. Now, in this modern age, there's many ways that we can share content. So you could turn this into a short presentation, a short video, a short ebook. You could do a lot with it. And I give some suggestions over at my website. I've got other articles on different formats you can use to, to put this life story content into other formats. So please go and have a look. But to recap, we've talked about Thanksgiving games or Christmas games you can play at your next family gathering. They're meant to be a bit of a challenge, a bit of fun. And we've talked about getting some ideas flowing. So get a, banking, a bank of questions. Two was nutting out what type of game are we going to play? Is it going to be a vox pop? One question to many or many questions to one person. So that's pretty much your options, I would say. That, that, that's going to be short and a bit of fun. So that's, number, um, that's planning. And then we're going to actual, giving you some ideas about recording. And then fourthly, to wrap up the show, we talked about some format ideas. So I hope this is going to inspire you to interview your family members and have fun this holiday season. And everything I've mentioned in detail in more depth is over at my website, foreveryoungautobiographies.com slash Thanksgiving Games. Please look out for the link in the show notes. And while you're here with me, who are you thinking of interviewing if you've selected one person? Or what is your key question you're thinking of asking for a Vox Pop? I'd love to know. Leave me a comment here or over at the website. And if you have any other life story writing questions, whether that's planning, writing, polishing or publishing a life story, you can send me an email at foreveryoungautobiographies.com slash contact. I love hearing from you and I'd really be interested to know what you're working on. Before I go, I mentioned at the top of the show the Your Family Stories system, which is a system I've laid out the step-by-step -step process of doing a full interview with a loved one, recording their life stories. And you can get first few sections to this system for free. You can go to foreveryoungautobiographies.com slash free. Please take a look and see if it's something that you would like to do this holiday season. Now, I will be back again with another show. So again, I want to refresh your memory. I'd be very grateful if you could follow, subscribe, like the show, share it with a friend. And until then, happy writing.